greet you all in the wonderful name of Jesus. Amen. 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 We are going to take offerings. And before we do that, I just want us to go back to the Bible to remind ourselves about a few things that God is known for. And um, I'd like us to quickly go to Exodus 4, um, verses 2 to 4. I'm going to read it. The Lord asked him, What is that in your hand? A rod, he replied. Then he said, Throw it on the ground. He threw it on the ground, and it became a snake. Moses ran from it. But the Lord told him, Stretch out your hand and grab it by the tail. So he stretched his hand. Before we, we take our offerings, there's just a few things that I want us to, to remember about God um, from, from the verses that we read. The first thing is that God, God chooses his people. He chooses his people to, to ensure, or he chooses people that he will use to ensure that his purpose prevails and his will is done. Second of all, we see that God instructed Moses to, to throw his, his rod on the stick and it became a snake. To Moses, it could have been just a walking stick. But to God, it was something more. Or oh, God has the power to make what we see as just ordinary and minor, to make it bigger and major. As we're going to take our offerings today, I want us to just not just look at the offerings that we're taking now for this service. Let's look at how we use what we have in our possession. Like Moses, God said, throw it on the ground and it became a snake. It is what he had in his possession and God used it for something bigger. I'm sure we all know the story of Moses and how that snake went on to help Moses in his uh, mission that God had um, appointed him for. God today has chosen us as a people of Thracian to not only sustain his church, but he wants to grow his church through us. Amen. And it is through our possessions, our treasure in this case, our money that God wants to use. Amen. We may see it as just a few rents, a few thousands. We may think it may not go far, it may not do a lot, but if we heed God's call and release what we are holding on to, our blessings, we can see God not just sustain our church, but grow it through us, because we know He's not just a God of settling in one place or face, He's a God of elevation and growth, of promotion. He wants to grow our church, to promote our church, to elevate it through us. Amen. And he's, as he does that, he doesn't leave us behind. Amen. We also grow. Our families grow. Our, marriage, our marriages grow. Our children's future are secured in the Lord Amen. through that which we hold, possess, that God is instructing us today to let go of and see his wonders. Amen. As we are going to pray, um, I received an SMS a few weeks ago from the finance team. I'd like to believe I'm not the only one who received it. We know God needs us. Let's go and think about it. Let's go and allow God to give us the obedient spirit of Moses. Amen. Let us obey God and release that which we hold onto 
and allow God to make wonders through it. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the gift of life. We thank you, Lord, for yet another privilege to gather and worship today. As we are about to give our offerings, Father, we pray that may you soften our hearts. May you give us the obedient spirit of Moses so that when you instruct us, God, we may trust in you so that we may release our blessings, our treasure that we are holding on to and allow you, God, to do wonders, to not only sustain our church, but to also grow it through us. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.